Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and hello if you are new here. My name is Summer and I am, I have so much to update on. So if you're new here, I'm 40 years old. I just recently had my sixth baby and we found out about a week ago, maybe a week ago, it was like March 1st that my company was gonna be selling and that was a huge shock to me because I'm still on mat maternity leave. I had this little guy December 27th, and so I'm still on maternity leave, and basically the company decided that they wanted to sell, and the hard part was realizing they brought me back from maternity leave for this meeting, and I knew it couldn't be good if they did that because they're very respectful about the whole work-life balance and all of that. So long story short, working two jobs has been able to let my husband and I afford this house that we have. It's on two acres, it's on the west coast, and we've got about a little over 3,000 square feet. So very nice subdivision. But if I'm not working at my my job level, it's not necessarily an easy job to replace in this kind of town demographic. I'm, I would likely, to replace this job, I would probably have to commute um, half hour to an hour every day. And with the two babies, uh, my toddler and this little guy, I don't know if that's something we wanna do or entertain, so. We want to position ourselves so that we can live on one income. Fortunately, I still have my other house that I bought when I was 38. So I, I am currently renting it out and the people renting it are moving out end of April. So we're gonna get it ready and we're gonna move into it. When my job does finally end, it's a long lead time, so it'll be a while before I'm completely out of a job. So, but whenever that time comes, if we decide that um, we want me to stay home with the boys, I can do that and we'll see. Completely unexpected to have my company announce that while I was on maternity leave. So, still haven't gone back to work going back to work like end of March, but this is gonna be a little bit of the craziness and we are gonna spend the next month downsizing because we're going to a, a smaller house. Hi, bud. So our, my other house is a three bedroom, two bath with a den and it, um, so it, it is a bit smaller, so, but. I will keep you posted and take you guys along on this journey. And I gotta get, get this guy taken care of. So, okay, yeah, we have so much room that we need to declutter. Tell me. Uh, and the laundry room in the next place is... A third of this size. Yeah. A quarter, a quarter. Maybe even, maybe even a fit. Yeah, so we still have a lot that we gotta get through. As you can see, this house has a ton of storage. But you know what? Oh, I will totally miss this sink. I love a laundry room sink. And of course, baby controls. And then on top of that, we had the storage underneath the stairs, which has been absolutely wonderful. And let me turn the light on, because you can see this goes back quite a ways. But you know what? I will not miss cleaning this place. This will be a journey to downsize and 
Oh gosh, I'm looking forward to it just being easier to clean. So we are decluttering a lot because in the time that we've lived here, we've gotten a dog, we've had another baby, and we haven't bought a whole lot more furniture, but I think with anything else, as life gets a hold of you, there's gonna be some downsizing that we need to do. Everything goes smoothly with this process, the moving and everything, but I'm looking forward to it. And I know from the external, people from the outside looking in might be like, she got rid of her big, beautiful house. Um, she's losing her job. And I'm like, I don't really see it that. I'm like, I feel like I'm getting my life. And it's okay. I mean, when, when life hits you, you adapt and overcome and you stay true to who you are and you know I am not my things and that's probably the most important thing if somebody asked me today what makes you 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 know the first thing that would come to my mind is my family I could get rid of a whole bunch of stuff and it wouldn't affect me I had a paid off Lexus last year that I just decided I was gonna sell and it was a good car it was 2017 but I decided I wanted to sell it and use it for a down payment on an, on a place and another investment rental that I have so that made more sense to me than having a Lexus I barely drove sit in the garage I did about this journey and I hope you guys will be too and if you want to follow us along for what this means for our life and what it's gonna look like as we become debt-free Stick around. since I've last uploaded but a lot has changed in our lives um, you might notice that the surroundings don't even look familiar because we did move we are in the process of selling that nice big house and we'll see if it gets an offer but because I didn't want to deal with showing the house while I was living in it we moved into our rental property into it felt like home I mean, it was the easiest move back because we knew exactly where everything was gonna go. We knew how this house worked and everything. So, and then um, a job opening opened up in Hawaii and you may not know, but we have a house there and um, it was always in our plan that we were gonna eventually move back to Hawaii because I just really like that I have a lot of friends and family there still. Um, originally from Hawaii, born and raised, and even part Hawaiian myself. I think I just, I just recently had my DNA tested and it's kind of funny because I'm, I know a lot of people don't think I look like it, but I'm 35% Asian and 15% Hawaiian. So it's a little bit unique and 
um, on my mom's side of the family, it is like pure Northern European, um, mostly English, a little bit of Scottish, some Swedish and Norway, which I don't know where that came from, but it, it's always interesting to find those results out. Anyhow, before I moved to Hawaii, we've got a dog, a cat, and you know, um, taking three kids with us. So we've got our little baby, um, my son, he, we're trying to get him registered for preschool and everything. And then my daughter, she just started high school. So it's definitely a big deal to see where life goes from there. So I'm gonna kind of take you through everything and just show you what our life looks like now because it is, it is quite a bit different. And I don't know what the next chapter holds for us, but I'm excited about it.